Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today we're going to talk about the Keystone Sprinter 324 fifth wheel bunkhouse. It's going to be a gorgeous uh, quad bunkhouse unit, has a huge pantry with washer and dryer hookup. We'll check all that out in a second, but first let's go ahead and start right up front. Beautiful fiberglass front cap on here. You can see you have the LED light strip. Looks really cool at night. It gives it that nice aesthetic. Then right down below that is going to be your mirror. So you can see there, as you back your pickup up, uh, you're able to line up your kingpin with the hitch. One other thing I like about the front cap on the Sprinter, they do have the max turn technology on here. So this is gonna be cut back, allowing for sharper turns with your uh, tow vehicle. Let's head underneath here pop this open you'll see there you have nice big storage area very clean over to the side is going to be the battery box and mounted underneath the unit right here is the spare tire <clears throat> um, if you take a look up front here this is going to be light so you can see at night and right here is going to be solar charge hookup this unit is pre-wired for solar so if you do want solar all you have to do is buy the panels plug it right into the unit and you're good to go uh, coming around to the side, if you take a look underneath here, this unit does have four point auto level. So the cool thing about that is just touch of a button, you know, in a minute or so, it'll go ahead and level itself out. Then when you're ready to pick the unit back up, just touch it again and it will actually go to where you dropped it off at, making hooking up and unhooking extremely easy. Open this compartment up, you'll notice this is going to be empty. The reason for that, on the other side are going to be your two 30 pound propane tanks. So it does come with 60 pounds of propane, but they give you an extra compartment here in case you want a spare. So you can carry up to 90 pounds of propane on this coach, which is absolutely phenomenal if you're doing uh, you know, camping for long term and using up a lot of that propane. If we see the pass through, it will be on struts, so nice and easy to open up, that stays open. Right here is gonna be an indoor-outdoor table. That's really cool, it comes with it, so you can take that out. If you don't have a picnic table, now you do. And if you have one, well, you have a second one. Uh, it's just great that it stows away right up there nice and easily. Also, there's gonna be a light in here in case you do need to uh, access it at night, and also TV hookups right up there too. So if you wanna hook up a TV outside, you can certainly do that. Um, right here will be additional plug-in, so if you want to plug in electric griddle or anything you can. Now if you take a look up top, you'll see the large power awning on there. Underneath the power awning is an LED light strip, so you do have lights at night, you don't have to worry about hanging your Christmas lights. These also have the Solera speakers, uh, cool thing about that, they're built into the awning. So uh, when you roll your awning out, the speakers will be playing down on your campsite rather than blasting out at the neighbors, just kind of a cool extra feature. Uh, and those will be controlled by your multimedia center inside which is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet uh, or anything else really that's Bluetooth capable you can go ahead and hook up to that and whether you're doing streaming music or playing uh, music that is loaded onto your device it will operate either way. Getting into the coach is nice and simple. You see here you have three aluminum steps. I like the aluminum steps because they're not going to rust out on you and they have these rubber strips on here for grip so if your steps do get wet you don't have to worry about slipping and falling. Also the easy grab handle makes it uh, of course easier to climb inside the coach. One thing I do like to talk about sprinters when it comes to construction, uh, these are going to be four season capable coaches. That's one of the few units that they have actually done testing. So they put it in a bay, they lowered the ambient temperature in the air to zero degrees just to make sure nothing was going to freeze on you. And so uh, when they did that, everything underneath, you know, having it at 74 inside the coach, underneath where all of your water lines and tanks are, it was, it was uh, over 40 degrees. So that's impressive, meaning that it's well over freezing because because there's going to be forced air ducts run in there so as long as you run in your furnace you can camp in the colder seasons aluminum rims on there not only do they look nice but it's also going to help prevent any uh, rust or corrosion one of the other things I like about this camper is it doesn't have any slides on this side so you get that full uh, awning experience you don't have a big slide here taking half of it up so that's going to be kind of cool if we come around to the back open this up Beautiful outside kitchen here in the Sprinter. It's gonna be uh, what I call a full kitchen. You know, it has the full height on here. You have the light, some storage right up here with the net, so nice, easy access. You also have cupboards over here, which is really cool. Uh, you know, this is easy to get into as well. 
LED light up top, in case you want a little bit of light. Your uh, sink will be right over here. And then this is going to pull out. Just unlock that like so. If you can relock it right there. This is going to be your two burner cooktop in case you want to do some outside cooking. You have this option. You also have a grill on the back, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, but right here, this is cool. This is going to be a nice big full extension drawer. Uh, refrigerator, take a look at that. That's a nice uh, big fridge here. So it's not going to be one of the smaller ones. So you can, you know, if you are one that likes to have a lot of beverages outside, you can certainly fill that bad boy up and then you do have the extra electrical outlet which the fridge will plug into one more over there so if you do want to plug in a blender or something you can certainly do that come around to the back side this is what I was mentioning here is going to be the arm for the grill the grill will be uh, included with the unit but that's really nice so you do have two options for cooking Getting up on the uh, roof of the camper is nice and easy. As you can see, it does have a uh, rear mounted ladder, so you don't have to bring one with you because it does take up a lot of your pass through storage when you have to bring one. So full walkable roof, get up there for all the maintenance. You'll also see that you have a curved roof line so your water is not gonna sit on top. It will naturally run to the sides where the rain gutters will take it to the front and back so it's not gonna dump down on your campsite. Uh, aluminum wrapped bumper here, so it's not gonna, you know, have to see all the rust and corrosion on there and then right there's a propane quick connect that one is going to mainly be for your grill but of course you can hook up whatever you want to it last but not least fully detachable power cord uh, I like that idea uh, this one is going to be a 50 amp but I like having a detachable power cord because that way it has less chance for ants or critters to run up into the camper all right folks it's pretty much going to wrap it up for the outside I know it's gorgeous let's go check out the beautiful interior Welcome to the inside of the Keystone Sprinter 324 fifth wheel bunkhouse. Let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen. So you get good countertop space here. A lot of that is going to be aided by your sink top cover. Speaking of the sink, it is an American stone cast sink, which is very nice because it's not going to scratch nearly as easily as the stainless steel. Larger bowl on the left, smaller bowl on the right. The sink top cover is also going to be cutting board quality, so if you want to flip that over and use it as a cutting board, you certainly can. And also you have the nice high rise faucet on here, which is going to have a pull out spray head. Three burner Atwood cooktop, high output there in the front, stainless steel front as well. And then you can see there you do have a conventional oven for any baking. Underneath the countertop, you're going to have some storage here as well. This drops down as a sponge tray right there. And then you have two full extension drawers right there. Over here as well, you have a little bit of extra storage. This is a good place for a smaller trash can. If you do want one, you can go ahead and set it there. Window lets in a lot of natural light as well as the light right here. And then if you look up top, you have some uh, great pantry storage there. You have multiple access points to that, two here, one on the other side. So in my opinion, this is a great place for things like, uh, you know, things you're going to cook outside, like s'mores, or if you have, uh, you know, like bread, things like that. That's a great place for it because it's nice and easy to access. Right here is the microwave, of course, stainless steel front, and the fully functional hood. This has a light and fan built in as well. Moving over is the uh, refrigerator and freezer combo. This is going to be Dometic. You can see the stainless steel looking panels there. Nice and big, eight cubic foot, plenty of room. Uh, you can see it does have a cutout for some taller items there too. This is going to run off both electric and propane and have automatic switchover for you. Also, if you take a look right here, you can see the thermostat, so it's nice and easy to set the temperature. Up top, you have this beautiful decorative glass. Uh, you do have extra storage up here. These are gonna be on struts too, so they will be self-supported a little bit taller tougher to reach uh, but it is nice to have that storage they're really utilizing everything so in the event that you know you do need some items that you don't grab as often you can tuck them away right up there let's take a look at the ceiling real quick a couple cool things about the sprinter um, you know one you're gonna have the stripes going across the wood accents which really help uh, break up the ceiling a little bit it has a nice look and appeal to it ducted AC all the way throughout also you'll have LED lights which aren't gonna consume near as much power as your standard incandescent bulbs then if you look right here you have a beautiful skylight with the wood surround really lets in a lot of natural light uh, I like that they did that especially in the kitchen really brightens it up and then right over here you are gonna have uh, your max style or max air fan this does have a rain sensor on it as well uh, so you know if it does start raining that will go ahead and close 
Now right back down here, so underneath this storage, again, that same beautiful decorative glass. Take a look at that. Nice extra pantry storage there. Same thing, good storage right here. This is nice and big. If you don't want your trash can underneath the sink, this will fit a larger trash can there. And you have pull-out drawer, which is perfect for pots and pans. One of my favorite things about the 324, though, this floor plan is this right here. Take a look at this huge pantry. So you have a ton of space in here, everything you could possibly want. You see you have shelves built in. Cool thing, there is going to be a light in here and there's an AC duct. So if you are storing food in there, you don't have to worry about it heating up. That if, As long as you have the AC on, it will keep it nice and cool. And if you see right there, there's also gonna be washer and dryer hookup. So if you do want washer and dryer, you can put it right here, tuck it away. It's not gonna use up your wardrobe space in the front, uh, you know, just a really nice central location for it. All right, right back here is gonna be the bunkhouse. Let's head on in and take a look. The bunkhouse in the 324 is a quad bunk. We'll start right over here on the slide out. Uh, you will notice you get a window up top as well as an LED light. This, uh, the bunks in here are gonna be the Teddy Bear Bunk Series, so they are gonna be nice and comfortable for you. This bunk does support 300 pounds, which is great, because a lot of times these smaller ones are only 150. Now this will, of course, lift up and lock right out of the way. So that way if the kids wanna use the couch, they can certainly do that, which is this one right here. Uh, this is a rollover sofa. So of course, you know, during the day, you can have it as a couch. At night, super simple to make up. You can see, just roll this over like so, has the legs, put the legs down, and there's your bed. So super easy to use. The other cool thing I like about it is it does allow you to have some storage back here. So this is a great place to put the uh, comforter and you know blankets pillows things that you're gonna make this bed up with just toss them right back there and if you take a look underneath here look at that you have three large full extension drawers there as well so excellent storage that they built in underneath extremely easy to access along the back wall here is a centrally located entertainment center again I love when they put this on the back wall because then all the kids are able to watch the TV not just uh, you know the kids on one side so that's gonna be a cool feature and they built in extra storage here as well, you know, up top as well as right here down below. <clears throat> now along the wall, this is cool too, a plug in here and two USB ports. You know, a lot of kids these days are bringing their electronics with them, whether it's a tablet, phone, whatever it may be. It's nice, they can just go ahead and plug it in right there, put it in this bin to charge. Speaking of, great storage right here. Now these are going to be the other two bunks, again, Teddy Bear Bunk Series. And once again, this top bunk does have the 300 pound weight limit on there, um, which is fantastic. Nice big window there too. Of course, they'll have LED lights back here, a uh, centrally located vent, and you have AC ducts. So if you turn the AC on, the kids will be able to get uh, be able to cool down as well on those hot days. Now coming out of the bunkhouse, we'll take a look right over here. This is going to be uh, our super slide. A couple of things of note. One, of course, your max fan control is right there, but two, right down here is an additional plug-in. Neat thing about that is if you do have to do any work, if you're sitting at the dinette, whether you're on a laptop or a tablet, you can go ahead and plug that in and the cord's gonna be out of the way. Also, one thing I like about the Sprinter is this right here. Uh, this is gonna be a little light that you can have at nighttime. They'll have one here. They also have one up at the steps. You can turn those on and it just gives you enough light so if you need to get up and use the bathroom at night, you can see where you're going. You're not gonna trip over the steps. Uh, it's just kind of a cool extra feature that Sprinter puts in for you. But nice wide dinette. Um, the thing I love about these dinettes is you can easily seat four, possibly even six here. A lot of people have in their mind they really want a U-shaped dinette for their family. Um, it, and you know, it kind of has its pros and cons. In all honesty, the U-shaped dinette won't seat any more people than your standard dinette because your knees kind of tend to hit. The big advantage of the U-shaped dinette, in all honesty, is that it makes a bigger bed. But if you don't need the sleeping capacity, I promise you, you can sit just as many people here, if not more. Take a look underneath. You'll see nice, easy uh, uh, access to the storage that'll go underneath the entire bench seat on both sides. And of course, this will drop down into a bed. Just take the legs out and it'll sit right here on the rails. Take the cushions and fill it in. Beautiful windows all the way around, let in a ton of natural light. You have some nice light fixtures, the wall sconce there as well, and a bank of LED lights here right above the couch. 
Now this couch is gonna be a trifold sofa. When it comes to beds, uh, this is gonna be the most comfortable style of couch bed. The reason you're able to do it here and not in the bunk is because of the, the space that it comes out. This folds into a much larger bed. You don't have the room in the bunk house, but we do here as you can see. So this will easily sleep uh, two adults, which is great. And as I mentioned, very comfortable to sleep on. Uh, you're not gonna have a bar on your back or have to worry about waking up on a deflated air mattress. Now in those rainy days, not only are the kids gonna wanna watch TV, you probably are too, so not a problem. Right here's gonna be your 40 inch LED front and center. Uh, this will be on a swing arm mount, so if you need to move that around, you can do that. Whether you want a better angle on the couch or dinette or maybe over into the kitchen while you're cooking, you can certainly move that. Then underneath is going to be your sound bar for superior sound quality. Right here you'll see you have nice big uh, cutout cubby hole storage on both sides, as well as a fireplace right down below. Cool thing about the fireplace, not only does it look nice when you turn it on, but it's also very functional, as that's essentially gonna be a big space heater and it'll help heat up this space. Uh, other cool thing is if you don't have a seasonal lot, if you're just camping there, a lot of times they don't make you pay electric, so that's essentially free heat. So you know, if it's just enough where you don't wanna turn on the propane, kick on the fireplace, it'll help take the chill off in the space. Up top here again, great additional storage. This is gonna have that decorative glass on it as well, but just nice storage up above the entertainment center. And then right here is going to be a thermostat. One last thing I wanna talk about is this guy right here. This is pretty cool. Uh, this is what they call the rapid camp system. So uh, go ahead and put in the default pin, but this controller will allow you to control several things, things from your outside lights to your automatic leveling, awning, slide, uh, just a very, very cool remote. So that way, you know, you can operate things from outside. Let's say you're in a tight space, you wanna make sure your slide's not gonna hit, hit anything, there's a tree that's pretty close. You can walk outside, use this, and be able to control your slide. Same thing with your awning. Uh, a really nice feature that Sprinter went ahead and included for you. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up down here. Let's head up the steps. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. In the bathroom, right down in the corner is going to be our uh, toilet. It does have a porcelain bowl on there, so nice and easy to go ahead and clean up and plenty of legroom. Right next to that is the linen closet, very large linen closet, so plenty of room for towels, everything else you're gonna need in the bathroom, which is great. Uh, next to that is the one-piece residential style shower. I love when they have a one-piece shower. Mine doesn't look a lot nicer and cleaner, less chance for any kind of leaks. You can see you have your hand wand, plenty of shelving in here as well as a seat. So if you need to sit down and shave your legs or whatever, you can easily do that. Also a nice big skylight up top lets in a lot of natural light, gives you more headroom. Over to the side here is going to be the mirrored medicine cabinet, great storage there, huge countertop on here as well, and you have storage underneath. The bedroom in the 324 features a slide out queen bed, nice and easy to walk all the way around, so if you do need to make the bed, it is easy to do so. Also, go ahead and lift this up, you'll see it is going to be strut supported, plenty of room underneath there. Uh, this is going to be the grill I mentioned we were outside, that's tucked away right there, um, but as I, as I said, just lots of room. Plugins as well, so if you do need to uh, plug in a cell phone or if you have a CPAP machine you need to use, you can go ahead and plug that in and use it too. Big wardrobe up front here, you'll see you have a shelf as well as a hanging rod that goes all the way underneath. Uh, and as I said when we were out there, cool thing is the washer and dryer is out there so it's not taking up space here, which is great. So you get this full section as well as this, which is gonna have two mirrored doors on here. You can see you have additional shelving there and then two additional drawers here. Uh, at the foot of the bed, you have a nice window letting in a lot of natural light. There's another window behind uh, the door there when the do bedroom door is closed, so you do get a lot of natural light in this bedroom during the day. Uh, right here, beautiful glass. Again, storage up top. Spot for a TV, so nice big opening. So if you do want to mount a TV, you can certainly have that. And then you have a chest of drawers here, five drawers, which is nice. Open this up. One thing I do like to talk about too on the sprinters, if you see how big this drawer is, this is a very functional drawer. A lot of times in fifth wheels, with you know these this uh, bank of drawers, the foot of the bed is really narrow. They're only about this wide. You can't really fit anything in them. The reason that sprinters are going to be bigger is because this is a, a wide frame. This is a 100 inch wide frame, so it's gonna be four inches wider than 
most uh, most of them in this class. Uh, while four inches doesn't sound like a lot, it really makes a huge difference in a lot of spaces like your hallways. Something like this, you know, you take four inches off of there again, you have those drawers that don't really do a whole lot. So uh, nice, nice to have that wide frame. One last thing of note, if you do want a second AC, this one is going to be pre-wired for it. Uh, so, you know, if you're staying somewhere really hot, like Arizona or something like that during the summer months, uh, might not be a bad idea to have one installed. Otherwise, it should be sufficient with just the one. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the Keystone Sprinter 324 fifth wheel bunkhouse. Fantastic family model. You know, you have the quad bunks in the back, the rollover sofa. I like that that, that rear entertainment center in the bunkhouse is mounted on the back of the camper so everyone can see it. Huge outside kitchen, which is phenomenal. One of the biggest pantries in any fifth wheel that I've seen. I mean, it's massive in there, a ton of space. Great setup for your entertainment area and kitchen. You know, they have the one piece shower in the bathroom, great room up here just one you really want to come and take a look at if you do have any questions or comments please feel free to leave those in the section below you can or you can always give myself ian baker a call here at american rv and i'll be happy to answer that way as well if you have uh, particular questions about specs please feel free to jump on our website which is americanrv.com it's a great resource there's a lot on there to take a look at all right folks uh, thanks again for watching i'm ian baker and i can't wait to see you on the road to freedom